live. You guys were live, and it's still Tuesday. That's right. But this is a different channel. This is a different one. We're doing some painting tonight, Whoa. and we're going to teach you how to paint uh -oh. a game. Uh -oh. And this game we're going to paint is called Horrified American Monsters. Oh, no, I'm scared. <laughs> are oh, wait. you scared? I'm horrified, actually, that these things aren't painted yet. WTF. <laughs> right? You need to get it painted. Get well, that painted. Let's get, us, get ourselves a little oh. shrunky shrunk, and we're going to oh. talk about what we're painting today, how we're going to paint it. And uh, by the time you're done with this whole thing, everyone will have their complete set of horrified painted wow so i guess first thing we should do is talk about what do we got to what do we need to paint these things what do we need inspiration well, first thing inspiration exactly <laughs> time effort material right. no uh, okay, second thing are some really cool latex gloves whoa oh. i get them in a nice little package like this from the from the um, hardware, hardware store, store, super easy, super expensive. Well, we're oh. super inexpensive. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh, that, everybody's out. They're like, what? It costs a lot of money for That's painting right. gloves. The other thing we do, do really is we need use uh, for gloves. brushes. We use these crazy makeup brushes. You'll oh. find these in your drugstore. They're just. Your CVS, like your Walgreens, brushes your eyeshadow. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's pretty easy. That's right. Where did you get those from? I don't know. Um, I get these on Amazon. I can get like a hundred pack of them for like nothing. So, um, so that's easy. And, but you and have cheap. done like the Wet and Wild. The Wet yeah, and Wild, Wet and Wild is a good brand. Yep. And uh, Elf brushes maybe also. That's just because you know those that's are right. things that I have lying around for me that I don't use sometimes. Yeah. And so what we're gonna do is go from the beginning. I didn't even prime these bad boys. So we're gonna show you how to prime them. We're gonna show you how to two tone paint them. Well, and hopefully husband. we'll have this whole thing done in less than an hour. Oh, I hope so. We'll I gotta go happens. to bed. Yep. I need my beauty sleep. I mean, you can't paint on beauty. All right. Oh. So let's talk about the monsters that you get with uh, American horrified, horrified American oh. monsters. So we get Bigfoot there. Whoa, there's yeah. Bigfoot. And he looks like this. <laughs> so we'll be painting good old Bigfoot. We'll be painting good old the Banshee of the Badlands. Whoa. Whoa. So here's the Banshee of the Badlands. <laughs> and, you know, we'll just remember these colors for later, but we're going to be painting them all kind of black and white for right now. Okay. Uh, so we'll have to remember their colors later if the bases matter. Um, here is your Chupacabra. Chupacabra. It's so funny. Some people paint or make Chupacabra like a dog, and some people make it like an alien. So I don't know what oh, the difference is, but is they made it more like an alien here. So mm -hmm. there's a little alien vibe going on there. Okay. Then we've got the, oh, the um, the Ozark Howler. Excuse me? I don't know. I never heard of this one before. It wow, looks like kind either. of a Yeti or something. Oh, weird. So that's uh -huh. pretty neat. Totally. It looks just like a bear with horns. And then there's the Mothman. Whoa. Mothman. Whoa. And he's definitely a Mothman. <laughs> and then finally, we're in the East Coast of the U.S., so we should Whoa. know all about the Jersey Devil. Uh -oh. And that's right. He looks like a deer with wings, apparently, and, a, and a, obviously that devil tail. Freaky deep. See that devil tail. So yeah. we're going to see that more. Cool, cool. Nice. When we talk about, um, uh -oh. yeah, let's... You're so, going to put those there precariously, and I'm going to worry about that's them right. the whole time. So okay. we have this super close-up cam. Whoa! Whoa! So we can see what we're doing. So there's our Bigfoot. Yes. And there's our Ozark Howler. And you can see these. the detail's not bad on these, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Ozark Howler there. Okay, you're a Jersey there's your, Devil. <laughs> there's your Mothman. Whoa. He's, He's like, got Rrr. moth stuff going on. Yeah. There's your Chupacabra. Chup. Okay. There's your Jersey Devil. See the devil tail there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that and is weird. And then finally, the Banshee of the Badlands. Badlands. Nice. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to paint all of these with a black primer. And the black primer I like to use is the good old um, Citadel color paint called Abaddon Black. The reason I use these, and a lot of people say... Um, they oh, say, well, suck it, Tom. Don't use that Citadel Abaddon Black. Yeah, they say, why are you going to pay $6 for this giant Whoa. thing of paint when um, when really when I can get a giant craft store acrylic paint for oh. like a giant bottle for like a sure. dollar? Yeah, yeah. Well, the reason we do this is because 
um, we like to yes. do these things quickly. And in order oh. to be quick, you got to have paint that dries quick. And so these Citadel paints are really, oh, uh, they're, they're really made drying. for, they're really made for, um, you know, going on quick, going on nice and smooth, and then also um, going on. They're going to dry quick so we can get to dry brushing them later and we can probably get all these things done within an hour that's my that's my hope that's his goal i have too many questions how can you just pick up how can you just pick up bigfoot and say i'm gonna slather you in paint right now oh that's what you have to do that's I called would courage be, oh okay it's called courage okay because right. i'd be so worried that i was going to screw it up but right. the detail is there i'm not responsible for the detail it's just going to come shining through like yeah, the brand right. new day that's right oh god okay all right here we go let's I'm learn nervous. how to prime Time. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take our handy dandy makeup brush. We're going to throw it in some of this black primer and we're just going to slather it on, baby. Uh, what kind now, of noises does he make? <laughs> now, here's the thing is that you don't want to put it on too thick, especially with these because um, these uh, target kind of games, they're not really good miniatures. They're I mean, th oh. this American Monsters is actually pretty good detail wise. But at the end of the day, um, they don't. A lot of them don't have a lot of good detail. And if you slather on you're gonna paint, you're going to lose detail because the paint's going to glop on too much. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of rubbing it into the area so that way it gets into the crevices and the cracks. But it's not oh going to fill in the crevices or cracks because we don't want to. We want to make sure that you don't want to lose that detail. So if there's like a big divot or a big ridge, you don't want the paint to pool right, in that yeah. area. So you don't want to put it in too uh -huh. too much. So um, yeah, but you just want to cover the whole thing in black, and that's the idea. Does it tickle Bigfoot? <laughs> Does it tickle? <laughs> it tickling? And you can see, and this is where you start to curse some of the uh, sculptors <laughs> oh, when is this they're one? when they make these sculpts where it's like, how the Damn it, hell Bob. do I get black paint under this area? Darn or, you! How do I get sculptor. to under his footprint or whatever? Right. Why weren't you thinking right. of me, the and painter? You know, he's he is called Bigfoot, but why yeah. doesn't he have bigger feet? Really? Oh, interesting. You know, he should have bigger feet. Yeah, he should have bigger feet. You know, to live up to the lore. Mm, that's mm -hmm. right. Well. Now, the other thing is when we're done with this, I might show that when you do this kind of flicking motion with the brush, you are going to flick the paint kind of all around. And so I do this kind of far away from my face. <laughs> <laughs> so that way I'm not breathing. In. So because uh, acrylic paint, the beauty of the acrylic paint is that it is non-toxic. So um, you, you could drink it. You could breakfast. literally eat it if you wanted to, but you wouldn't want to. And it's probably not a good idea to do that so uh when these little pink particles get in your mouth you don't want you don't want them in your mouth that's the so keep that's the bottom far line far away right? from your face yeah. so we're gonna keep it far away yep and so that is pretty much that so you see we just rub rub it on we just want to make sure there's no bare exposed spots so i'm not going to worry about painting the bottom because i want to stand them up and not have them stick to the table so we're just going to make sure you know you're still not going to paint we, underneath but you're Doing the top. Yeah, I might paint underneath at, at the end. Oh, we'll, okay. We'll but base, not right base now. things always last. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. So that's Bigfoot. And it looks like he's all black, so he's cool. This is going to dry pretty much in about five minutes. So the cool part is I, I like to stack them in the order that I painted them. Of love. The because of that's love. the order of drying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So then when I'm going to go through all these guys, paint them black, and then I'm going to go back and start with Bigfoot for the dry brushing because I know he's the most dry. Right? Be, so you want to yeah. you want to keep track of who's dry. First, last dry, out, right? first in, first in, last That's out. That's right, I first in, last out. I don't know what that means. So you can see here's your Howler of the Ozarks. Oh, yes. And this guy's already a pain in my ass because wow. these little, right? You got to like, oh, I'm cleaning his ears out. Whoa. Oh, yeah. But you definitely want to get in there. Get in there good. Get in know? there for that detail. See, now, if it but were... You don't want to glop it on, because yeah. especially this guy's got, like, fur. You want to make sure that fur comes through. You don't want to... Fur. If I were painting, if I were painting, here's what would happen to me. I'd be like, black prime this guy, black prime this guy, black... Oh, wh what? who is that guy again? That's where I'd be. So good thing you have your reference photos and 
that these right. are very distinct, right? They're not uh, similar shapes or similar poses, really. They're, you right. can definitely tell them apart. So, but yeah, I could definitely, I could definitely see myself making that amateur mistake in uh, paint paint land. And the beauty of this technique that I use is I don't have to worry about color until we get to the color phase. So really everyone's going to be this beautiful black and white. And so what we're trying to do is see the, the funny part with miniature painting is that you really want to have the most contrast possible. You want to have the shadows to be super dark black mm -hmm. and you want to have your highlights to be super high. And, and so that way it's uh, you can pick it apart because the thing is what these things are so tiny Mm -hmm. that um, if I just painted them solid colors, it definitely is going to look weird to the eye because my eye is expecting to see a bunch of shadows and stuff. So even with the contrast paints, I used to just paint with a white primer and then just use contrast paints because what contrast paints do is they add the they add some shadows and some midtones and some highlights in one paint. It, which is really cool. And we use contrast paints for the colors for sure. But my trouble with the contrast paints is they don't make the blacks black. They make it dark, whatever the color is. So if mm. I'm coloring, like if I just wanted to color this guy red, I would only have really dark reds, but I wouldn't have black. Oh, true black. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So that's why from now on, I paint these guys black to start. So that way... They're always going to have the blackest black in the crevices, in the shadows. They're going to be black. Gotcha. Interesting. And you can see as this stuff starts to dry, too, you'll see where some of these yeah. things get missed. So you just want to, if I glopped it on, he would be black, but he would have some lost detail. So that's why some of this is kind of uh, keep, keep roaming over the same spots over and over until you don't see green anymore, right? Until you don't see the under. Yeah, the anymore. original mold right. plastic color. so that's it so i think cool cool so but what happens though if if say you've let them dry and now you see oh there's the mold coming through there's the original plastic color yep. that I then you see. just put one more coat on yeah before it's the other thing too is we're going to dry brush colors on top of this so even if you miss a spot yeah it's not the end of the world if you know that that spot is going to be highlighted Okay. The only things you want to make sure you don't miss are the deep crevice spots because those are the spots you want to make sure that they're black. Right. Okay. Because we want the deepest, darkest shadow in those in those spaces. Right. Right. I think that's good for our howler. Howler. Howler is black. What are we going to do next? Mothman? Let's try Mothman. Whatever you say. You're in charge. It's right. he paints games. That's right. Right. So we're going to just uh, paint on this Mothman. Get him black and blue. But mostly just black. Right. So wow. you can see this one's kind of tricky because you got to get in there, right? He's got like he's got like a cape of wings. Yeah. And anytime there's a cape, there's always like there's a leg here and then there's the cape behind the leg. And right. He's gotta... Right. The cape's going to go to the floor. And then there's going to be this, this distance between the, the back of the cape and like its leg and stuff so you gotta you gotta get all you gotta get in there right. you gotta get Just all around it so you can right. see like right here there's a spot behind him mm -hmm. that it's hard to get with this big brush and so sometimes if they're if the models have really tiny detail um we'll need to get a smaller brush just to get the black into the small oh, okay okay but i'm hoping to do it all my goal is to try to do it all with one brush so that way because we're trying to speed paint this bad boy. We're not trying to. Right. You're not trying to paint. We're the not winning any chapel. awards. We just want to get this thing. You're not the table. winning any awards. You we just want to get this thing on the table. You want right? your experience to be great. You right. To be awesome. That's so right. yeah. So you want to so paint it. the minis that you have. Yeah. And this is this is arguably the most boring part of painting is is the priming of the black, but. Um, I just wanted to show everyone how it's done in real time so that way you cannot be intimidated and get your own horrified game out and just start slapping paint on it. Yeah, because do it. It's super easy. It's not going to take you all day. I don't know when we time. We're, we've been live for 14 minutes and I've got three guys prime black already. So. Yeah. So I'm going to guess, I don't know because I don't paint, that why don't do games send their 
minis primed already or is there a way to skip this step in the when they come out of the mold or anything or or what what's the deal huh. what's the deal well um no for the most part uh games don't send their stuff primed uh dungeons and dragons miniatures from whiz kids they come pre-primed with white mm -hmm. so but for me i like to prime black so i'm gonna have to reprime those anyway mm -hmm. uh, but the white prime is pretty cool um, some of the game designers will do a thing that they call um, uh, drink it on the weekends. No, <laughs> sun drop is what oh. the uh, Awakened Realms calls it, where they they they're gonna do what I'm gonna do now, which is basically it's a two tone shade, and you'll see how it works. But it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, but so yes, yeah, some of the, the game designers will do what they call sun drop okay. or. Or appreciating where oh. here's Angie for us, um, where they're going to shade it for you. It's not going to be colored though. It's still going to be black and white. Mm -hmm. And it's basically what we're doing right now, which is going to be this black and white stuff. Okay. You can see already the splatter that's happening on my yeah. on my paper. Yeah. You know, that would be in your mouth right now if, <laughs> you were, if your face was like. If uh, you're, right if you're like doing that, one of these like, oh, let me. Go. That's right. So whenever yeah. you get real close, or if you want to get close up to a model. I definitely recommend to wear a mask. And thanks to COVID, we have hundreds of masks now in our lives. Yeah, thanks COVID. Um, so it's just a simple like mask to. It, it, this is not like um, fumes or something that you need some special. Sure, grade it's mask. not like spray paint. You just want to keep the and it, and it's not going to kill you because it is non toxic paint. And look at that, she uh, she got painted in five seconds. So sometimes the models are just easier because they don't have as much details or crevices. They have a smoother, yeah. dreamier kind of vibe to them. Yep. Or and maybe not. sometimes when it goes on wet, it looks like, oh, man, I lost all this detail. But yeah. when it dries, it's actually going to sink in. It's going to kind of... Um, Make it pop? Yeah, it like contrasts. It contracts. Oh, it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it adheres really well to it and creates that depth that you're talking about. That's right, yep. Whoa, there goes the Jersey yeah, Devil. Oh, there's Jersey Devil. He's getting black on him. Yeah. I don't know. Just like that. Right? So don't be afraid. Everyone's afraid that they're going to ruin their Yeah, like you're going to be like, oh, I just there's bought this and it's so ugly and the, I painted it the wrong. Ruined and... the, a ruined miniature is one that's not painted in my eyes because it's just. Oh, shit. Because it's, it's hard to tell. Even when they put details on this stuff, it's really hard to see the detail because it's just one color. Mm -hmm. And it's one glossy color, which really makes it hard, you know. Especially these are these are basically plastic toys. They're not even miniatures. They're like yeah. the consistency of toy plastic. So they're really hard to yeah um, to pick out details unless you can highlight them like we're gonna do. Oh, that looks very scary, mm. this Jersey Devil. I don't know what I don't know any of this lore other than Bigfoot. I mean, lore is a strong word. Like I don't. I'm gonna have to look it all up. Before I think it might say Friday. on those cards if you wanted to read the cards. Oh, well, I'll have to get my yeah, cheaters for that, babe. It. So I can't, you know, I can't see. It wasn't, I wasn't planning on being here. I was just in the neighborhood. That's right. And You're he paints games. I'm doing like a Mr. Out. Rogers. Yeah. I was just like, oh, hello. All right. So this is Jersey Devil. And you can see he's got a lot of little, like, see? What? I can see you hide in there, Antler. I see that orange spot I might have missed. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. That, you son of you a bitch. Son of, I know they why they call you the devil. Wow, 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 wow. So there you have it. So yeah, he's pretty. So much... how are you feeling about these minis, though? Are you? I mean, I know you'd be like, they're pretty good detail. They're toy plastic. These are, are you... actually more detailed than the original horrified. We don't have the original horrified. Okay. But I've seen the figures from the original horrified mm -hmm. and. Those are really like um, not basic. detailed at all. Yeah. yeah, they're very basic, and they're it's much like the Rocketeer miniatures that I painted. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They're just like these globs of plastic, yeah. and you get the idea of it, but you're not really. It's kind of like they they look melted already. Yeah. They look. Yeah. yeah. So you can see this guy definitely has some ridges and. Yeah. And that's important because when we dry brush these guys, they're going to. That stuff's gonna pop right out. Yeah. Well, just like that. How how many minutes was that? 
right. Well, uh, yeah, we're yeah, 20 minutes in. We got one more to do. So this is it. And this is the hardest part because the dry brushing really takes five seconds to do. Um, so we're just going to paint this. So priming guy. takes the most and then the dry brushing is yeah, even easier. The priming really? is a pain, yes. Yep. And yeah, this is black or white priming because sometimes you want, there are some cases where I don't want to do this method of shadows, darkest, deepest shadows. Sometimes the characters are more cartoony or you just want it to be a lighter because this makes them very dark too. So this kind of priming black is what I always recommend for monsters. Okay. For people, sometimes the black is too much. Like we, you know, we have shadows, but we don't have that many shadows. Mm -hmm. So you just want to be careful on, um, or you want to think about what's your, how dark do you want it to be? And for me, monsters always need to be in the shadow. So any kind of monster. So like this. Always looks like super cool. Alien. If black, like if you yeah. have the alien game, any of those kinds of things, you're going to do that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Zombie games, yeah. you're going to go dark you're gonna want to do a black primer yeah that's right what about that joan of arc stuff did you do all black for that i, I didn't because the didn't, joan of right? arc was um yeah. yeah it was so small that black would be kind of maybe too dark because mm -hmm. the thing you'll find out when we do when we lighten these things up is that it when you want to add color to it it's really going to need to be lightened up a lot like this black mm. um Two tone is really going to make a um, make the whole piece look super dark, and so you're going to want to really lighten it up. A oh, lot. okay. All right. Yeah. What do you need? It looks like you need something. Well, I my problem is I messed up the order. Oh. I, but I know Bigfoot was first. Oh yeah. So you can see already Bigfoot is kind of dry now, right? So um, you'll oh, yeah. see if, it, if it's a shiny spot, he'll um, yeah. that'll mean that it's still wet. And, and typically, you, you want to wait for this to be completely dry mm -hmm. before we do the dry brushing. But um, I'm impatient, and we're going to get started right away. Really? All right. So we got Bigfoot as kind of dry. Then we did this. Uh, the, we howler. Did the Howler. You did the Howler. He's still a little wet. You see, he's a little glistening. So I wouldn't dry brush him right away. We're going to wait one more second for him. You're getting him out of order now, unless yeah. you're not. And then Mothman was next, mm -hmm. and then this guy, and then Jersey Devil, and then this guy. All right? Yeah. So that's it. Everybody's uh, painted 20 minutes, and all six of your figures are painted black. We're going to put that brush in the water. We're going to take these gloves off because they got black on them, and we are now going to put on a new pair of gloves because we're going to do the gray tone. So first, so black is our darkest dark tone. Okay. Then we're going to dry brush this thing gray. So all these things are going to get a gray dry brush and that is in the mid tone of our two tone I guess, special. Okay. I guess I don't understand when you say dry brush because it's not like your brush was wet for the black primer. It's not like you right. went into water and then went to the primer. So hmm. why do you call it Dry uh, brush. We, oh, I like your splatter. Yeah, look at the splatter. Yep. So I'm glad I put some paper down here. Yeah. Because that's going to be garbage. Yeah. Well, let's uh, do the gray fill and I'll tell you all about it. He planned all this, you guys. All right. You need your gloves? So we got. Oh. We do, uh, Citadel makes a special dry brush paint. You can use any kind of gray. You want this kind of color of gray for your mid-tone. Uh, these dry brush gray, these dry brush paints are cool though because they, they're not really, um, you can see kind of inside, they're not really a liquid paint. They're more like a dry, they're already sort of dried out. Oh, and that's, okay. um, but what we're gonna end up doing, the reason why it's called dry brushing is because, um, we are going to put some paint on the brush and then we're going to rub the paint off the brush so the brush uh, is pretty much dry okay so you're not going to use and, a lot of yeah so, so it's you're not, going to waste a lot of paint well and normally you I would waste it. a lot of paint if you were using normal liquid paint and then drying it off the brush but these cool uh, citadel paints okay. are already half dry so i'm not wasting gotcha so much paint because um, the paints are already kind of there. So for it's you. already dry. So you're not losing a lot of liquid of the paint. The paint's already right. uh, a different kind of substance or what do you want to call it? That's right. Okay. Interesting. Right. It has a lower gloves, moisture. 
has a lower lower moisture right. content. So now um, for this dry brushing, I'm going to use an even bigger makeup brush because um, I don't want to be too like before I was really getting into the crevices and I wanted to push the paint into the crevices. Now I just want to I want to tickle Bigfoot. I just want to give him a little tickle. I'm going to tickle him with some of this uh, gray and you'll see how this comes out. Is he dry now? Uh, this black is pretty much dry. Yeah, you can see if it's not like sh super shiny. If it's super shiny, you can tell if it's wet, right? Okay. Based on the... Sure. But this is pretty much dry. Like normally I would wait for him to completely dry before we do the dry brush. But you don't care. But we're doing speed painting. So this is speed painting exercise. All right? Okay. Like, because, yeah, what are you really missing by uh, by not waiting? How are you really going to screw this up by not uh, waiting? Because sometimes, because what we're going to do is when we dry brush, we're going to like do this motion where we're uh, applying the paint to the tops if you think about Bigfoot like a mountain, he's got peaks and he's got valleys. Mm -hmm. And the valleys we want to stay black and the peaks we want to paint gray. So sure. just by kind of wisping the brush over him, mm -hmm. um, gonna, the tops are going to get gray, but the right. the, uh, You're not the valleys are still going to have valley. black, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. But when you do this, if the, bl if the black is still wet, right then you're going to get black on your gray brush which right. is not good right. and also you're going to smear you're going to smear the right. black and the gray together and then you're not going to get that effect that you want so right so really you just want to make sure that he's pretty much dry otherwise you could end up getting your stuff all smeared and stuff okay. which you don't want to gotcha all right yep. so uh we're gonna Oops. open up this bad boy uh, gray okay. i'm gonna put my brush in there and Brush it all around, and you can kind of see. Well, you can kind of see. There's not much on there. I just kind of shove yeah. it in there. But when I put it on the on a paper towel, you can see I'm just gonna kind of brush this on the paper towel until until I don't see really gray coming off anymore. And then that then I know there's kind of just enough gray on here to, to start that. applying to him, right? Now the trouble is, uh, this is actually going to look like magic when we put the white on top. So this gray is not going to look super impressive, but it'll give you some ideas of uh, what it'll look like. And make sure this doesn't clump. Um, so what we're going to do is, and what I like to do is kind of do this kind of motion, and it's like a car wash, <laughs> and, then, oh, yeah. and then ease them into it, because then I can I can quickly see if the gray is going to be too clumped up or not. And we're just going to brush it on and see how that brushes. Mm -hmm. And it makes his little, makes his little details come out. So we get that on his face. Just like that. It's a big foot. It's like magic. <laughs> So now we basically got a gray, a really great gray, and he'll he'll almost look all gray. But the key is you definitely want to make sure the crevices are still black. So as long as you still have black in the crevices, mm -hmm. you've got a really nice kind of shadow tone there. Um, when we put white on him, it's gonna really pop. But right now, this is kind of a really so you just want to make sure that there's not any areas that are totally black. Sure. But at the end of the day. That's pretty good for Bigfoot. So we're done. Wow. Okay. With the black, right? Yep. The howler. Now we got the howler. Now you see the howler is still kind of wet here, which is I don't like the idea of that. Okay. But uh -huh. um, but we can still kind of give it a shot. Oh my goodness. Okay. So again, I'm just doing my kind of whoa. Here comes the. You didn't even add more gray onto that brush for the howler. I didn't. Yeah, because uh, you can keep going until it's not. Pumping so anything out, it, and then yeah. you just add some more. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. Let's see if the howler is not is going to get us any trouble. And also, what you want to do is you uh, you can kind of see how his the texture goes one way. So like the textures on the arm are going this way. Mm -hmm. So I want the brush to go this way. Uh, so I'm because those yeah. are the mountains. I want to get his mountains gray. I don't <laughs> want to 
Right. You want to, you know, I don't want to get the, the valleys. If I went this way, I would be filling in the valleys. I right. don't want to fill in the valleys. So you want to go opposite. So I want to try to find, a little bit. I want to try to find his texture. Yeah. Interesting. And then just make the brush go a different way. But he's howling at you. Okay. I'd be kind of terrified of that thing. If I ran into that thing, I'm glad I'm not in the Ozark. Mm -hmm. so, although I love that show. Anyway. And that's the beauty about using a big brush like this is that it's not going to just, it's not going to glomp on or anything. So you really get these nice shadows, mm -hmm. right? So that's, I think, pretty good. Hmm. And you can see this really takes five seconds. Right. Once you got the black on, the black's the pain in the ass. Once the black's on, <laughs> you're good. All right, there's the howler. howler is gray. I'm going to put a little bit more gray on my dry brush for the next guy. And who's next on our list? Uh, I think Mothman it's Mothman. Or I can't remember. So I think Mothman's ready. You can see these guys are still not totally dry, especially mm. on his chest there. You can see I went a little overboard on uh putting the putting the stuff well okay. so but you're still not afraid you're just still like, not afraid i'm coming Let's in mothman that's right so we're okay. just gonna go for it again if you um one thing you can do if you if you do a swipe and it glops it on you can always wipe it off okay. so there's there's not or you can always just paint black again so there's never any wrong way to do it right sure. so don't be afraid i guess is the point wow so if I could only use your painting lessons in real life, hmm. don't be afraid. So we're going to paint his little wings there. Let's see that makes some gray come out. I really want his face to pop out some gray. Well, and, you know, maybe I don't really care about his legs getting smeared because it's all going to be hidden under his little cape anyway. So. Hmm, I see. So there you go. You see, you got some gray. It's got, it's so cool already the details pretty crazy right and that's what's that's what's fun about these things and then you can kind of compare because sometimes i'll always start off maybe a little bit less heavy-handed sure. and then yeah. i'll get more heavy-handed as i go yeah and so i just kind wanna of, you want to make sure that they're all kind of the you same want to make it look like they too. got painted on the same night <laughs> exactly, right you want to yeah. look like yeah so you want to make sure these guys yeah. are all kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah all right so that's three down three to go uh, Who's Banshee, next on the I list? Banshee, Banshee of the Badlands, I believe. All right, Banshee, here she comes. All right, she's still very wet. You can kind of see. Yeah. There's some. Do you want to look there. at the Devil or a uh, Chupacabra? No, they're all kind of in different wetness. So we'll find uh -oh. out what we're doing. All right, so we're just gonna give her a go. Uh oh. So again, I got my little uh, my little group uh, car wash. Just give him a little at the car little. wash. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love that. Right. Song. And there's nothing coming out this brush, so I'm going to give a little bit more gray, get a little more gray on that brush. I'm just going to wipe it off like so. Okay, and here we go. Gray, 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 gray. Yes, is it taking? Mm. Is it taking? Yes, it's taking. Have you noticed any? I don't know. How long have you been painting now? Like, say, let's say since we started She Hates Games, right? Would you say, have you, you've always painted, but yeah. when did you start this? When did you grasp or, you know, become a pro at what you're doing now with priming and dry brushing and what change? So, and have you seen any changes in your technique or anything? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. No, I'd actually just started painting uh, about a year ago or so. so okay. Um, so. And I used to, and what really got me into it was when contrast paints came out, which are very new, because mm -hmm. contrast paints make it very easy to paint. Um, let me see if I can not, if I can get some gray on her without smearing it. See, she's really still very wet in the front, so that's why. I, well. Well, I don't want you to ruin your fig. Yeah, no, it's fine. I, you see, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some gray on the tops of her cloth, but you can right. still see how wet it is. So yeah. it's a little too wet to to go further on that. So, okay. so she, we'll come back to her when she dries a little bit more. 
Check out the devil and Chupacabra. Let's see what devil's got. See, even devil is a little bit wet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's still a little bit too wet. Okay. So, you know what we're going to do? We're no. going to have Banshee and Devil and Chupacabra dry off really quick. And I'm going to show you what the white looks like. Uh-oh. Whoa, and that's called the two-tone white. Two-tone white. Two-tone white? Is it like white and... This is the magic. I love this part of it. And we're going to use, again, another dry paint from Citadel called Rack White. Mm. This is my go-to uh, white highlight. Okay. And you we're going to do the same white. thing. Oh, white. Oh, white. Oh, white. Yep. Highlight. So i got another similar type uh, makeup brush. Mm -hmm. It's just, I don't know if it even says a name on it. Yeah, there you go. MSQ makeup brush. I don't know. It's just one of these, you know, that you use for your... Eyeliner, uh, eyeshadow, uh, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. Yeah. Um. Yep. So what we're gonna do? Same thing. We're gonna grab a paper towel. That's an eyeshadow brush. It's pretty um splayed. The the bristles. Yeah, I've been using these. Right. I use it, them. Yeah, because it would be. Yeah. No, it would. Be I use much them until more, they're. Until they're really it would be much more done. controlled if it were a brand new eyeshadow brush. Right. It would be not so. So in um control. in uh, this method, the most common priming method. That's out there. It's called zenithal priming. Oh, that and sounds And zenithal nice. basically means that um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you want to make it look like the sun is hitting or the zenith of the sky is hitting mm. the model. So the uh, the light, it's the lightest on the top and it's darkest on the bottom. Oh, so that it's like shining down like this? So it looks like, like a spotlight shining down okay. on the model. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and the... And it does look cool, but that's really if you want the top to look brighter than the bottom. But when we do, when I do put color on these things, I really need to lighten the whole things up. So that's why I call my method just two-tone priming, because what we're going to do is we're going to start as like Zenithal, but what really what we want to do is every part, every mountain needs to have a little bit of white on it. And it's really going to make all the details pop. So you can see that the gray and the black look kind of cool, but once we start putting white on this thing, it's really going to pop. Uh, the first, it's always uh, gamble to see if the first one is going to be too thick or not. So that's why we do our car wash, car wash and see what it's going to look like coming off of the thing. Coming off of the thing. So you can see this really makes a super, really brings out the highlights. This is your highlight. Now you can really see the, and normally with Zenithal, you would only do this on the top down and I would leave the feet like black, mm -hmm. but we're probably going to color this guy and to make sure that the colors come through. We definitely want to have some white down there to, um, to make it happen. Whoa, a Bigfoot butt. And takes five seconds, but it really makes it because now you've got two tones. Now you've got the deepest, darkest recesses are black. Mm -hmm. There's a gray in there, so it's not just black right. and white, but the white is really picking up the surfaces, right? So yeah. anything that is surface is going to be super poppy. Yeah. Right? You can make this totally. Um, like if I wanted to keep his feet to be dark or something, then that that would make it darker. But he is Bigfoot, so we need to show his feet, mm -hmm. right? So, but that's it. I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to jab in here and get his crotch or whatever because that's naturally going to be shadowed anyway. So, Whoa. so we don't have to worry so Smells much like about Bigfoot's that. But... <laughs> that's right. But there you go. And this is pretty much what you would get if you had like a sun drop kind of Whoa. figure or something, mm -hmm. right? But that's. And you can leave it like this. I mean, this is just black and white. We'll probably put color on this guy, but um, but that's pretty much how you get how you get that going, right? So let's uh, let's see what the howler's got for us. Right? We got howler because right? this howler's got a lot of 
detail that you really can't see until you get some white on him. Let me get some more white on the brush. All right. Now the Howler's thing is he's going to have these horns that are going to pop out when you get some white on him. So you want to make sure that the horns come out. Again, what I'm trying to do is go against the grain. So I see his um, little fur is going down, so I'm going this way with mm -hmm. the brush, right? Cool. Oh, I really don't ever want to see this thing <laughs> live and in person. Mm -hmm. Right, and then you can see I went a little bit too much on his mouth muzzle. there, his muzzle, but we can just even it out. Because we're going to put, when we put color on this, it's going to, the whole thing's going to tone down anyway, so we, I'm not worried too much about it being too white. I just don't want it to look like it's globbed on. Yeah. You want it to look like it's... You still uh, want to keep the detail, even though yeah. it may seem like there's a lot but of you it. You see, this is all very much very much yeah. white, but I can see black. I mean, I can see black as black in yeah. the inside of the furs. And yeah, that's, it's so weird. That's why this method really looks the most realistic, because especially for creatures. If there's a creature that I'm painting, I'll always do it this way, because it's just cooler, for sure. All right, Mothman, what do you got? Let's uh, see what your face looks like in the light. Step into the light. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Now, this is a tough one. When there's flat surfaces like this, mm -hmm. um, you kind of don't want to go on the flat. You okay. definitely want to get the edges if you can. Mm-hmm. Um, because then you'll just be covering the black that you just did. Right. You know, you'll just be covering be, the black. It'll be exactly. basically like a white prime now. If it's a big well, you can do thing. like I'm doing here where you make like a little spotlight. Then it yeah. actually feels like light. Yeah. Instead of me just putting white on the. Right. On the wings, you see. And that's it. And then, uh, let's see. I don't want to get too much in there. Mock me in. So, yeah, I think that'll do it. So, you see, once you get the black on, getting them at least, you know, um, into this two-tone color scheme is pretty easy. White brush down. All right. Let's see. Um, yeah, Banshee is still, she's still wet. I really must have just globbed on the, that's, I put too much primer on her, I think. Right. I think uh, even uh, the Jersey. Jersey Devil is a little bit, he's still taking a little bit too long to dry on the on the chest area. You can see yeah. right there, even on his back. Hmm. But I think he's ready to go gray. And then let's see what is uh, Chupacabra got for us. Uh, I think he's ready for gray too. And see, I'm kind of just wiping to see if the black is actually wet or does it just look glossy. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my gray brush. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to... Is this what I use for the gray? And let's get these guys grayed. And what are we at? 44 minutes? We're going to make it. Whoa, we are? I think so. All cool. Right, so let's see. Oh, yeah. And some gray on this guy. Should I blow on the banshee and dry her off? <laughs> <laughs> you could. And then I was like, hmm, was that going to do anything? But I don't know. Right. And you can see sometimes I, I always wonder is it because. Um, the point of this is you're trying to put gray on the mountains, but if the mountain, if the model yes. is not very detailed, it's just not going to have mountains. You know what I mean? Right. So you got to 
because then it's just going to be like a mix of black and gray. Yeah. And what's exactly. that going to do? Yeah. Exactly. So in that case, do what you did uh, on the Mothman with the white, like kind of choose areas that are. Right. Yeah. Choose the do. mountain, not the valleys, etc. Yeah. And I might just switch brushes because I think I already smeared some black on that other brush. So I'm going to use this other brush. Uh-oh. Always have plenty of brushes, kids. That's right. And that's the beauty of these. Uh, um, makeup brushes. Makeup brushes. You could literally. Well, you can have a lot of them. I got a whole pack for like $6. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if this uh, black is going to take. Or the gray. We're just putting a gray on him. And, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world if he's just primed gray. <laughs> Because, you know, sometimes there's just not enough shadows. Mm -hmm. So you see this guy's kind of getting more gray than black. But but that's cool. When we get these guys on some white, it's all going to pop with the white. So the gray is really just a mid-tone. So it's fine if it if it's more mid-tone than, than shadow. Well, did you just take the Banshee? I did, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Part of this too, the mid-tone grays are actually getting getting it more dried off too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think she's gonna be ready for white for sure. Right. So I think all these guys are pretty grayed up. Right? Just gotta you just gotta feel it. Sometimes you feel if the model is taking the paint or not. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. We're going to wipe these guys oh, up. Oh, my goodness. Because we got a time limit, well, Banshee and Chuka Cabra but there's just something, whatever. Right? It's like you're not here to win awards. You want to get these things painted into the table. Yeah, we're going to get them into so the table. Your goal tonight 47 minutes. was to paint Horrified with six or seven minis, right? One, two, three. That's right. And to prime them. That's right. Right. So we prime them and two tone them, and then prime we and might put some color on them. But this this prime two tone method is really enough to get you what some game companies would call sun drop or mm -hmm. just shaded. This is what uh, the unmatched figures are like. This. Oh know? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they so are. the unmatched figures will look just like this, yeah. and that's all this is. It's where you're priming it and putting two tones of color of uh, paint. color paint. On it. Yeah. Color, yeah. No gray and a, a gray mid tone and a white. Right. Um, Highlight. Highlight. Yep. So let's uh, do our parking garage. And ooh, you can see that. You said parking garage. You meant car wash. Car wash. It's late, everybody. No. So we got some good detail on those wings. There's only a little tiny line, so you got to maybe less is more for this guy. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Cool, we'll find out. Ugh. I'll make sure you don't block it. It's on. another creepy thing. I don't want to see anywhere. Glippity gloppity. Glippity gloppity. Glippity gloppity. Interesting. All right. Just like that. We thought it was going to be a disaster, but it and this is the cool fun. part, especially if it's a if it's a monster. Yeah. This two tone does a really neat effect on like like areas that look like skin. Because mm -hmm. it really makes it look textured. Um which is nice because that's what yeah. you, that's what you really want you want to be able to you don't mean like is it like like scales or skin or like leathery leathery you want it to feel oh, gotcha. leathery mm -hmm, when you're, mm -hmm. yeah when you're, yeah 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 see i might have a little bit you guys i'm getting the here. creeps so if you go to a little too much you can just wipe it off mm. sometimes you won't be able to wipe it off <laughs> you're like yeah, i can wipe it off sometimes you're not gonna be able to Sometimes you're just going to have to get used to it. But sometimes that's just part of the texture, too. You want to add a... Yeah. You want to make it look textured. These, the gray and the white, uh, they dry as quickly as the primer. Oh, they they dry even quicker. Even yeah. quicker. Because you're only putting a little tiny bit on. Oh, the true. The primer, we're like slathering the right. You gotta bit, right? Right, you got to not saturate, but yeah, you got to cover it all. But this way, you're just, yeah. 
Okay. I think that's our Jersey Devil. He's Holy ready to lovely. go. Way to go, Jersey Devil. Whoa, he's whoa. Now let's take a look at our Banshee. She's still a little wet in this crevice, so let me see if I can maybe towel her off. <laughs> Because right, we just don't want that black paint smearing when I try to do this. Okay, right. so did you really get in there and kind of dab out the pool? Was it pooling? Kind of. You can see the little pooling there that's already happening. You see that? Yeah. But I'm not worried because I'm not going to, I'm if I'm lucky, I'm not going to have my brush touch that area. Yeah, okay. So here we go. Car wash. Car wash. <laughs> we'll start with the lantern. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Let me get her little face. Her little clothes. Just like that. There you have it. Wow. What? Yeah, and again, you can see sometimes the highlights and the midtones will mix and create this nice texture. Yeah. And then it looks like a coat, you know, or it looks like a... A toga, a wrap. A wrap uh, or whatever, yep. Yeah. A shroud. Yeah, totally. All right, and then finally, we've got the Jupiter Cabra. Chupacabra. Chupacabra. We're coming to get you. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Yeah, you can kind of see he's still kind of wet, too. Maybe I'll also try to. He needs a towel. Little, uh, Need a, a hot towel a for hot Chupacabra. Towel, Need a hot towel for Chupacabra. All right, just put a paper towel on him. Tone that down. Okay. All right, here we go. So we're looking for ridges that we can get highlighted. Burr. So probably his back ridges is where we'll start with our car wash. You ready, car wash? I'm ready. Do, 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 do. A do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. do. <laughs> Wow. That is crazy. Ugh, it's creeping me out. I have said it before and I'll say it again. Yeah, these things are definitely coming to life. Right? More than the plastic one color. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty crazy. Right? I think an hour ago you had like a red one and a blue hmm, one. Yeah, we had this and one was turquoise. The weird, yeah. Now it looks like that. Yeah. All right. Very cool, but also disgusting because that face oh. and that mouth. Now, is don't just... worry about the base because you we can paint the base black again or whatever you want to do at the base. <clears throat> you just want to, at this point, we're just making sure that the highlights are where we want them on the model. Mm hmm. And it's not globbed on. <laughs> right. Because the trick is you, you definitely still want to have some of those dark, black and dark areas. And what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of brushing it ever so slightly to kind of smooth it out. Because if I if there are any chunks or anything yeah. of paint, you want to make sure that there's that it's all kind of even. Yeah. Because it's going to, because pretty soon you're going to leave it. It's going to dry, and then it's going to yeah, dry, dry that yep. way, and you don't want. That's right. Yeah. All right, let's, so let's see what we got. We've got oh a goodness. Bigfoot. Whoa. And we've got the Howler. Oh. And we've got. Mothman. Oh, oh yeah. We've got this? the Jersey Devil. Oh, yeah, Jersey Devil. Whoa. Jersey Devil. Whoa. That one's pretty cool. I like it, even though it creeps me out. I and like the moth. We've got the Mothman. Whoa. He looks like an old man. Like that's what I was gonna say. You kids get off my lawn. He's got one of the like a big you furry mustache. Get off my lawn. Right. Oh, you see, you can see that little red piece. That's a piece that I missed in oh. priming. See that? So. Yeah. But that's cool. That's easily be fixed. Oh yeah. So we just take one of these bad boy brushes. Yeah. Let me take our little black. Paint. My goodness, you're gonna go in there? Yeah, just go in there. Oh my goodness, what? It's a good thing you uh, 
Put in there. Hee hee. Wow. See? It's like a shadow anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Now, the other thing I can do is I can come back with, uh, you know, if I think it's too dark. Yeah. I'll just come back with my with my white my white highlight, my white dry brush. Yeah. And you kind of see where it maybe looks like he's got a black eye because yeah, yeah. I put black there. Well, yeah. So I'll just uh, come in here and sweepy sweep. Lighten it up again. It's like it never happened. Whoa. And you just did that because you wanted to make sure the red wasn't showing. Yeah, because I don't want to see red. Right. Uh, it probably doesn't matter when I put color on this thing. It's going to be colored and the sure. color would cover up the red. Yeah. But, you know, that makes it easy. Wow. That was great. Right. And then finally, perfect. we've got the Banshee. Whoa. Whoa. Banshee of the what? Of the, of the Badlands. Of the Badlands. That's mm -hmm. right. I give her a little bit more white on her face just to make the face pop out. Yeah. I like the movement. I like, you know, the drama of her cape and clothes and stuff. Yeah. So there you have it. Whoa. All right, everybody. That is 56 minutes. We have explained everything. <laughs> We've uh, painted all these guys. We did not color them, though. Yeah. Please. So. That was not part of the promise. That was not part of this promise, I guess, but we can show a different coloring video later. Yeah, we sure can. All right, there you have it. Chupacabra, Banshee, Mothman, Bigfoot. <laughs> oh, you kids get off my lawn. Oh, what's a lawn? What's a lawn? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look like a deer? And kill you! Oh. Yeah, right. right, so there you go. That is the magic of painting, everybody. Wow. Well, all right. Good job. All right, so there we go. Um, yeah. That's it, I suppose. Uh, painting done. Painting for now. done. You decided to do that. That's my good old two tone priming. So that's yeah. it. Six figures, one hour. There's no excuse, people. Get your <laughs> stuff painted. <laughs> Yourself, no excuse in the world. No excuse. Yes, All right. Can, uh, reach these guys. So, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. If you want to uh, watch She Hates Games, we're going to play Horrified on Friday, right? That's right. And, uh, and I'm probably going to paint color these before Friday. So, there might be another might She probably Hates on Games on uh, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. All right. And we'll. Uh, be sure to schedule it and send it out there. You know, That's we right. were you were thinking about doing this tonight, and so you just were like it's here. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's I here, got it set up. It. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't know uh, if they have if anybody has any questions. Obviously, you can always reach out. Yeah, she hates games at, at gmail. At gmail. Yeah, you can you can send us painting questions <laughs> at she hates games at gmail .com. That's right. So and, uh, we'll probably see you Thursday, and we'll definitely see you Friday. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Bye.